Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks so much for tuning in to this yoga for beginners class. Come to a comfortable seated position, close your eyes. Bring your hands together and we'll initiate the practice with a long deep om. Slowly rest your hands down, keeping the eyes closed for a few moments. Tune into your breath, tune into your body, tune into the quality of your mind and your emotions. Allowing yourself to arrive with gratitude and with intention for this practice today. Then, drawing the muscles of the lower abdomen in, slowly open the eyes and we'll begin with some nice gentle mobilizations of the body to help connect breath and body. Inhale, bring your arms out to a T-shape and reach from the shoulders. And this is such a great movement to bring both strength and flexibility in the shoulders. Next, lift up along the spinal axis so you can feel your rib cage starting to float effortlessly away from the pelvis as though you're growing taller and taller and taller. Now we'll start to make some little arm circles. So I want you to go round and round, moving the shoulder joints gently forward, forward, forward. Nice and easy, just like that, just like that. Keep it going. Then come back to a neutral point and big reach. Then we're gonna reverse direction. So give a little back, back, back. And take this moment to let the breath really rise up through the spine and just spread out gloriously through your whole body. And another big reach, 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 reach. And then exhale, we'll drop the hands down. Shake out your shoulders. Now let's release the neck. Exhale, drop your head over to the left side. Take that right shoulder and drop it both down the back and then drop that right hand down. You're gonna gently roll your head forward and back to get those sore spots out of your neck and drop that right shoulder down. Good, then let's add in the hands, taking the left hand to the head, right hand to the shoulder. Release, then come on back into the center. Let's go on over to the other side, drop that left shoulder down, move a little up and down, rolling through the neck to find the nice sore spots. Add in the hands to give a little extra and release, shake out the head. Now, let's roll the whole shoulders up to the ears and down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, puff out your chest, lift the shoulders so you get the whole shoulder blade involved in these nice big circles and the upper back. So as you squeeze the shoulder blades together, your chest puffs up and then draw the navel in as it rolls forward. Let's do that one more time. And then we're gonna go in the other direction. Big reach, puff up the chest, squeeze the shoulders, draw the ribs in, roll through the upper spine and the shoulders and just keep rolling. Let's do one more time. Keep rolling, shake it on out. And now let's come on over onto your hands and knees. So. When you come over onto your hands and knees, we're gonna be building up to a cat and a cow position. So taking your hands shoulder width apart and your knees hips width apart. Get comfortable here, keeping the spine relatively neutral. Grip your fingertips and then push into the heels of the hands, connect in with the spine. And just for a moment, breathe. A long, deep breath in, breathing through the whole spine. A long, deep breath out. Good. Now we're gonna do what's called cat and cow. So inhale as you draw the navel in and lift the chest. Feel it as a spinal extension. Exhale as you tuck the tailbone, roll it all the way under. Inhale, roll through that spinal extension for a long deep breath in. Exhale as you round the back, tuck the tailbone and squeeze it under. Inhale, roll through the spine, a long deep breath in. Exhale, round all the way under. Release the spine and now for puppy pose. Walk your knees a little bit back, keeping the knees spread hips width apart. 
you could bring the toes a little bit together for a little more stability. Then walk one hand and the other forward, forward until you can feel a downward pressure and then let your top of the forehead rest on the mat. And we'll stay here for five breaths. If it's comfortable for you, come up onto your fingertips, roll the shoulder blades away from the spine and breathe as deeply and as fluidly as possible. Feel the breath moving deep, deep into the inner body. Feel the mind moving into a state of harmony and coherence. Feel your breath naturally deepening and feel the body quietly relaxing. And then drawing the navel deeply in, let's walk the hands back. Inhale, lift the head up and exhale here. Keeping the navel drawn in. And now let's come on up to downward facing dog. Curl your toes under and inhale, lifting the hips back and up, keeping the shoulders rolled open. Then push through the sitting bones, feeling as though your sitting bones move back and up. And then if it's difficult to straighten the legs, which of course, if you're just beginning, it's definitely gonna be difficult to straighten the legs. You can bend the knees a little bit and then rest your chest towards the thighs. And with each breath, just work towards straightening, straightening, straightening. Watch your shoulders. Sometimes people hunch up the shoulder and I want you to draw the shoulder blades down the back and then send the spine away from the shoulders. And as you hold downward facing dog, just let the breath be deep and full while you draw the muscles of the lower belly in, almost as though you're carving out space deep in the inner body, underneath the navel, behind the pubic bone. Very good. Now, let's switch your gaze forward. Inhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Then, drawing the navel in. Exhale, sink your left knee on the ground. And this crescent lunge pose is called Anjanayasana. Point the left toes, draw the navel in, and then pause here for a moment. Check your alignment. As the navel draws in, the spine lifts up out of the pelvis. Feel your heart growing big, broad, and beautiful, filled with breath, filled with energy, filled with love. Then inhale as you extend the arms up and draw the elbows in and lift up along the spinal axis. Enjoy every breath as we stay here, rooting down through your right leg, up through the spinal axis. Enjoy the breath, enjoy the movement. We're almost there. If it's comfortable for you, you have a couple of different hand options and arm options to make this a little deeper. You could draw the head behind the hands, press the palms into each other, or you could interlock your fingers and squeeze the elbows together behind the head. Find out what's more comfortable as we stay for just a few more breaths. Nice and easy, almost there. And exhale, release the hands. Draw the navel in, take your hands down. Then curl the left toes under. Inhale, lift the hips up and we're gonna now come back to plank pose. Push up in the shoulders. Inhale, step your right leg back and squeeze the glutes a little bit. Press it up into the shoulders and now we're gonna go all the way down to the ground. Exhale, all the way down. Point the toes, roll the shoulder blades down the back. We're gonna lift up to upward facing dog. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Settle in for a couple breaths. Draw the navel in. Keep the mind quiet and calm as the breath deepens. And switching your gaze forward, inhale, step your left foot forward, sinking that right knee down. Take a moment here, pointing the right toes, making sure you're on the front of the kneecap, not the top, but the front, the very upper portion of it. Then drawing the navel in, connecting into the pelvic floor. Get comfortable in the foundation of the posture first. So then as you root down into the legs, 
feel the energy of the spine lifting up until it blooms up through the heart center and the ribs expand, the chest expands, and you feel a sense of energy, vitality, and healing returning into the body. Inhale, extend the arms, rolling through the shoulders so you can find that roll around to give space to the neck as you rise up through the center line. Feel the ribs floating away from the pelvis. And check out your hand positions. Palms press into each other and look up. Or interlock fingers and reach. Just give it a big reach. If there's a strong stretching sensation in the right side of the hip, that's all right. It's looking really good. Stay with it. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. One more. And drop your hands down. Lift the ribs back over. Taking the hands down, we're gonna come on back to plank pose. Let's curl those right toes under, pick the hip up, and then inhale back to plank. Find your plank pose for a few breaths. Nice and easy, drawing the navel in. Exhale, come on down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, lifting your chest, the long deep breath in. Exhale, come on back to downward facing. And again, let's settle into our downward facing dog. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. Keep it nice and easy. Rolling the shoulder blades away from the spine. Letting yourself arrive to this moment in time. Then switch your gaze forward. Walk your right foot, left foot forward and exhale. Come on down, seat it. Stretch your legs out in front. And we have the posture called Dandasana, the yogi staff pose. First, start off with the feet. Press the base of the big toes into each other and then spread the toes, both at the tips of the toes and at the roots of the toes. So you can spread them wide apart. Then take your fingertips on the ground your butt so that your sitting bones start to move away from the heels. Then tune into the muscles of the low belly and lift up along the spinal axis again. That big blooming heart center, chin rests down. Gaze towards the tip of the nose to signify the inward turning of the mind that is the spiritual journey of yoga. Feel each breath moving deep into the center of the body. And then forward fold called Pashima Tanasana. Pivot at the hip joints as much as you can. Draw the navel in, lift the ribs. Take the hands to a comfortable position. Inhale, prepare, long deep breath in. And then exhale, relax your back muscles as you fold. If you feel you can hold on to your big toes, you can grab those. If you feel it's more appropriate to hold on to the outsides of the feet, you can grab those too. If you feel more comfortable just staying on the shin bones or the ankles, you can stay there too. Uh, and some of you may be able to go even further as you really drop down, really drop down. Nice and easy for our forward bend. Remember not to push it in your yoga practice. So you want to just go to where you're feeling that nice little sweet spot of stretching. Not too much pain, just a little sweet spot of stretching. And then continue to lengthen along the spinal axis so that the head, the ribs, and the lower back are all lengthening in the forward fold. I'm gonna stay for one more breath. Draw the navel in, long deep inhale. Long deep exhale, you're doing really well. It's looking good. Inhale, straight arms, exhale there. Walk your hands back and now we're gonna do reverse tabletop. So you can open your feet a little bit, roll the shoulder joints forward and then inhale, send the hips forward and up and enjoy that sense of lift. We stay for a few breaths, nice and easy, enjoying the moment, and exhale, set it down. Now, stretch out the legs, draw the navel again in, and then also draw the right knee up into the chest. We'll do an easy spinal twist. Float that right foot onto the outside of the left knee, draw the navel in, hug the left elbow around the right knee and then lift the chest over taking the right hand behind and enjoy this beautiful moment take a moment now no matter what's going on in your life no matter what difficulties might be there and just appreciate one thing about this moment it could be this class it could be this beautiful view it could be your body this day this very breath settle in 
and let that gratitude move into your heart. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, Dandasana position, and we'll switch the sides. Draw the left knee up, slide it over into the outside of the right. Settle your sitting bones, make sure they stay grounded. Inhale, lift, hugging that left knee with the right elbow, left hand behind you. Long, deep breath in, and then gentle, easy spinal twist. So make sure that you're not twisting with the hips. The hips stay really grounded as you draw the chest up and over and keep your right leg very active, especially through the heel, so you can feel that that's part of your foundation. The more you root into the foundation, the more the blooming of the twist is able to happen. So stay for a moment and again, plant that seed of gratitude. I'm grateful to you for watching this video and practicing with me. So thank you, you're my gratitude anchor for right now, for this moment. <laughs> Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, stabilize. Let's cross the feet and then draw them in underneath you. Roll over the shin bones and we're gonna come back to plank pose. Inhale on up to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. So this is all the way down like a push-up position. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Again, you're gonna step forward, crossing the feet, and exhale to seat. So now we move into a little bit of integration work, back to a comfortable seated position. Turn the palms open and press the tips of the index fingers and thumbs together. Lift the chest up and we'll gaze towards the nose tip. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. Just unify breath, body, and mind. Deepen and lengthen the breath. If it helps you to close the eyes, you could even close the eyes for a few moments. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. As you deepen the breath, the nervous system relaxes. The, mu the muscles and the bones start to relax and there's more space in the mind. One more long deep breath in. And exhale, softly open the eyes. Next, cross your feet, lift up the knees, take the hands on the floor. We're gonna do what's called utlutihi or lift up. You're gonna pitch the shoulders forward and try to lift the butt, all right? I'm gonna show you from the side. Also. You're gonna pitch your shoulders forward and try to lift the butt. Back and up, hold it for five. One, two, make sure your shoulders roll back and the heels of the hands stay rooted into the ground. Two, that's good, keep trying. Maybe you can get the feet up, maybe not, it's okay. Four, and five, exhale, sink the butt down. And now, roll your spine down, exhale, lie down. Take a little rest. Enjoy your breath, enjoy your body, enjoy this moment. Plant that seed of gratitude so deeply in your heart. Feel yourself overflowing with love, love for yourself. What comes with love is forgiveness, so forgiveness for yourself. Love towards others, forgiveness towards others. Love for every being in the whole world and forgiveness, mercy, and compassion for every being in the whole world. As you exhale, start to move your fingers, toes, hands and feet. Let's bend the knees and the elbows. Squeeze yourself. Roll on over to the side. Come on back up. And close the eyes, reflect on the change in the realm of body, breath, and mind as you feel that palpable inner shift that comes with each breath, with each practice. Hands in prayer. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love. Namaste.